right as you push start, I have to burp. <laughs> I just brought the audio up, so it wasn't on there. Oh, good. You guys missed it. I burped. And now I feel like they've been gypped. Oh, you know what? That's not that's not appropriate to say. No, that's not PC. I'm sorry. Any gypsies that are out there, I am very... Oh, I'm not supposed to say it! Um, People... People who move around a lot. I am very sorry if I offended you. That was not my that was not my intent. I'm gonna set these up and get everything all set up. How is it going, you guys? Um, it is Friday, which means it is the live stream. I am the knife girl. Um, this is Ravencrest Tactical. Welcome. I'm so excited. Look at you. Yay, we finally get Facebook up. We, you guys have been neglected. Instagram, hello. YouTube, hello. Facebook, welcome, 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 welcome. It is one of my favorite things to do to hang out with you guys. And guess who else I get to freaking hang out with? Who? Me? Thank you for asking that. Colton! What's up, guys? You put your face, like, right in the <laughs> middle of right there. How many people are in okay. here? 13 and 2? Yay! Um, We're hanging out. We're hanging out in the shop. Um, we're in the back where all of the magic happens. Um, except not like a dirty magic happens. <laughs> like, that sounded really bad. Um, so, yeah, we're hanging out back here. Tony, Tony Bone Jones says, hi, Colton. Look at that. Facebook is joining. Oh, look at this. Erica Lynn Bitterman Ryan. Hello. Happy Friday. Cynthia. We have so many freaking women on Facebook. I love this. How many females do we have on Instagram? I am very curious to find out how many of you are the ladies. This is not. What? Does that work? Is that fine? I'm trying to find a way to like lean on this without it. It feels like I'm like, <laughs> like gagging on this. This dude asked if we could send a knife to Australia. We would love to send you a knife to Australia. Unfortunately, we cannot because of the way laws are set up. So we cannot ship outside of the United States. You have to be inside of the U.S. And even then, um, you know, some states you'll want to check on that. Some states you can only carry... Um, at, or you can only have them at home. Can you guys customize the knives so they have a company logo on them? Hells, yes, we can. Uh, not only can we do company logos, we can do uh, custom designs. We had um, some groomsmen gifts that went out last week. I just had someone else re reach us or contact us, and they're like, hey, we want to do some cool gifts. Um, yeah. What else do we do that are, like, custom? What else would you put on the knife? Um, a lot of police put their badge numbers. You can put your badge number on there. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know what was really cute one time? Is this mom whose son was away at, um, I don't know, training camp? What is it called? Like when you're going to the military. Basic training? Yeah. He was in training, and so she bought him a knife, and she wanted to put his little nickname on it. So she put it, like, super low on the blade to where the only – the only way that you could see it is if you took the whole knife apart, but it was a very like little sissy Lala nickname. It was like baby bear or something. <laughs> Boot camp. Yeah. Why couldn't I think of that? Whatever. I don't know. I couldn't think of that. Um, the names of your victims. Yes. Yes. If you want to get super dark like Cynthia, you could engrave the names of your victims on your knife. And I'm sure that wouldn't be evidence. <laughs> um, all right. If you are band camp. I wish I went to band camp. Did you ever go to band camp? No. I went to church camp. Ooh. What was that like? Um, Did you get touched kind of inappropriately? Culty. It no. was cold to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's just a lot of, like, singing. It was more of, like, a mission trip where you go and you help poor people. Oh, you know? that's nice. Who did you help? Uh, people in, like, inner city Pennsylvania. 
so don't black know what kids. City it was. The black kids is that? Well, no, like elderly people. Like we painted Aww. houses and stuff. It wasn't necessarily black people. It might have been black. <laughs> like the way he said it, black people. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, yeah, we did mission work with the black people. That's what we do when we're from Iowa. That's what they do. They send you on a local mission <laughs> to go see brown people. I love it. How many of you are from Iowa? Um, look at this. I oh, No one responded. Report on warranty pages. Oh, what's happening? What is happening? I missed something. What's the turnaround to send in some of my older ones to get refurbished? Um, I don't know. I don't know turnaround what the turnaround time like 48. 48 hour what it depends on what they're having done but our turnaround for warranties is supposed to be 48 hours but if we don't have a part or something needs to be customized whatever then mm -hmm. it might take longer okay so there you go there you go um the spring broke yeah just so you have a couple options you can actually take it apart yourself uh that's if you're not able to get it back together that's okay it's fine <laughs> But anyways, most people can. So you can take the whole knife apart and you can actually switch out the spring. So you can request a uh, a care kit and that'll have a couple springs in it, some screws just in case you lose them. No big deal. Uh, so if you're just joining, this is a live stream. You're going to want to head over to ravencrestactical.com slash shop slash live. And we have 20. We have 20 goodies. I did a little bit extra because they went they all went last week, and they went fast. So I've got you covered. Um, we have quite a wide variety on the site this weekend. Um, the link will be live until Monday. What? Let's see. Does that? Can you pull up the web page so we can see like the price range? I will tell you guys the price range. Fifty-five to two ten. Did you guys hear that? Um, the price range for this weekend is going to be $55 all the way to $210. There's a mixture of scratch and dent knives and new ones that are discounted. So get on over, check it out, um, and hopefully you can find something. Ooh, 11's gone already. 11 is gone. Ike Bart uh, wants to know who my co-host is. This is Colton. Who? Ike Bart? I'm not sure. I know, I know that name. I don't think that I've met you in real life, though. That's where I you see a lot up. of these names. I don't, I didn't see that guy. You were at the Double Tree event. What Double Tree event? Was it, uh, was it a law enforcement conference? I'm curious. Okay, so some of you guys that are joining, you've met me in real life, or you've heard kind of like the story of who the heck I am. So, yeah, I'm the knife girl. I've been working for Ravencrest since 2013. It's been a hot minute. And I am, I'm the face that you see at the live shows. Is that a hotel? Yeah, but what event was it for? That's what I want to know. So I've been traveling across the United States since then, doing all different types of gun shows and police trainings, all the things. And so I've met a ton of you out there. I've probably sold you a knife or I've probably broken your knife. <laughs> a couple times I've had a customer bring me a knife and they're like, hey, can you fix my knife? It's not working. And I'm like, yeah. oh, no, no, no. They'll bring it to me and they're like, hey, can you clean it? I'm like, yeah, absolutely. And I'll go to clean it and like somehow I like mess it up and I break it. And I'm like, well. You're like, that was a gift. <laughs> so it's warrantied and that's the good news. The bad news is that I fucked up your knife. It was at a cop event. Ooh. Okay, so the double tree. What city was this in? Where are them blades? Okay, so here's the deal. So you can purchase these at ravencrestactical.com slash shop slash live. And then I'm going to go through a few of them here on the live stream. And if there's one that you specifically want to see, holler at me. Okay, you can either send us a comment on YouTube. Well, look at there's some peoples on there. It was the guy asking about Australia. Oh, that's fine. So is he from? Oh, is this the same guy? Has he commented before? <clears throat> I don't know. Abdullah Hakim Al Masri. I don't know. I feel like it. you butchered his name. I yeah. feel like it's probably way more beautifully beautifully said than that. <laughs> <laughs> can you send? Can you send us the phonetic spelling of your name, sir? <laughs> That'd be great. Crunchwrap Supreme. Yes. He Just got his knife. Oh yeah. 
Yay! Crunch Drop Supreme joined the live stream. He won the knife last week. Uh, we gave away a Covert Reaver in Coyote Tan, which we don't even freaking make. Um, but that's what happens when you join the live stream. You... And it was signed. And it was signed. That's right. He asked if I would sign it, and I did. I put my signature on it. Um, if you are on today's live stream, I'm going to be giving away this guy this week. This is our um, Ravencrest Tactical Micro Stinger. This one is not available on the website right now, I don't think. This, ooh, this one's not available. You cannot find this on the internet. So make sure that you are staying tuned. What's going on, Evs Chola, Choya? However, I say that bull doggy. Um, I need a cool tattoo with knife girl. <laughs> right. Um, speaking of knife girl, if you are a girl, actually, you know what? I'm not going to put you in a box. If you like wild purple and Tiffany blue, you can own this knife. You can do whatever you want to. All right. I don't know what number this one is, but this is. One of the purple ones that are on the website, um, on the stream. It's number 12. Number 12. Okay. We also, we have another one. We have two purple ones on the stream. And then this one is, oh wait, and this one is pink. We also have pink. So we have two purple ones and then I have this pink and black one. There we go. Okay. Mm -hmm. These ones are discounted. What did you, can you go back to that? How much was the pink one? Pink one? Number one. Number one is the pink and black, this guy. Seventy-five. $75. Okay? You can't get one like that that's pink and black. Mm -mm. No, you can't. This one has definitely had a lot of love. There are some scratches that are on there. So here's what I was wondering earlier today. What do you guys do for work? Like, have you ever wondered what people do that follow us? A lot of them cops. A lot of them cops. Um, we get all kinds. We get all kinds. I see everybody that follows us. And I look at well, you That's guys. a very, that's super creepy. Hey, okay, I'm on see. there. I'm living it. I got to interact with these people. <laughs> what do you guys do? Oh, the event was at the Double Tree. Okay, in Palm Springs. Front wrap Supreme is 14. That's where I met my boyfriend at. I met my lover at the Double Tree. In Palm Springs. What was that? Crunchwrap what? He's 14? Liar. Um, <laughs> IT Enterprise, Can you show number Enterprise Architecture. What is that? Oh, Airborne 3 Patriot is fine with you stalking him, Colton. <laughs> You're a boat captain? Number 20 is the okay. Titan Bravo. They want to see that one. The Black and Coyote Tan. This one is a Tonto serrated blade. Okay. There you go. <gasps> Henry Lloyd! Oh my God! <laughs> there you go. Here is that knife. He said, What is bad about it? What is bad about it? Well, the coating has pretty much worn off in several areas. There you go. Oh, that's a good little. See it? Okay. And then it's mixed mix matched <laughs> if that doesn't bother you then it's fine i changed out the internals and i also put a new blade on it yep cleaned it out too so it's all clean i got all the knife cheese out of it no big deal okay so back to careers so what is this so what does the it enterprise architecture ist do um You look at new technologies and align with business strategy. Sounds like a fake job. Is that a fake job? Is that one of those <laughs> consulting jobs where like no one in your family knows what you do? Yeah. <laughs> Erica on Facebook does re reprographic company. What is that? Reprographic. Re what, is, what does that mean? Why don't I know? Why do I feel so dumb right now? Hold up. Reprograph. Towboat US. You really are a boat captain? What city do you live in? Okay, what's a repro... What the hell? I can't even say Re it. Reproduction? Reproduction? Repro Re it doesn't just roll off the tongue, this <laughs> <No>. word. <laughs> 
Erica, what do you do? Tell us. Encompassing multiple methods of reproducing content, such as scanning, photography, xerography, digital printing. So he's a, he prints. Oh, you print. <laughs> oh, geographer and works with an incident management team. Look at that. A geographer. <coughs> always wanted to know someone that was a geographer this knife is also on today's live stream i would give this one the award of most loved actually there's there's a competition there's a competition if you head over to ravencresttactical.com slash shop slash live you will have your chance at owning one of these it's like mother daughter team right here oh my gosh look at you can have a big one and a little one and they're both equally loved Look at that. And they're both spear point. I like the spear point satin. Mm -hmm. I love that blade. It's very shiny. One of these days I want to pull a knife on someone. Like just I wonder. Walk, just go walk around downtown. Well, I reason. just. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually going to Tempe tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Just walk around. Yeah. There are so many homeless people. I just want to like know them all. Like how did they get there? Like no one just like wakes up homeless. Heroin. Did you guys hear about that doctor that um, – did we talk about this last week? Um, there's this super smart neuroscientist that's out of Sweden, and his whole shtick is I'm a better person because I did heroin last week or something. That's dangerous. So he made this book called Dr uh, Drugs for Adults or something, and he basically says, like, why is it okay to take Xanax and all these other – prescribed drugs but it's not okay to take a self or a like a healthy dose of like heroin he, he microdoses heroin well so he so he like breaks down like what each of the drugs do and then as like a healthy smart adult you can decide what type of experience you want to have that's his whole thing and i'm like that's a dangerous <laughs> road to walk down i'm like i don't know but is it more dangerous than like people who are addicted to xanax like, Xanax fucks you up. I remember the first time I had one for I got LASIK done. I was shmammered. I was like, they called this mother's little helper? This is what moms were taking in the 50s? They probably took lots of it. But how much did you take? A whole bar? I don't even remember. Probably, I don't know. I don't, the whole thing. I don't know. I mean, they have to kind of knock you out because you're totally awake. And, like, lucid when they're lasering your eye and, like, peeling off, like, a layer of it. It's kind of wild. Um, okay, so you print for architects, engineers, and contractors, construction documents, and graphics like signs, banners, and posters. That is very interesting. Look at that. <laughs> There's a quote <laughs> from the Knife Girl. One of these days I want to assault someone with deadly – or I want to assault with deadly weapon someone. People that live on the streets are not homeless. People that work every day are what? People that work every day are homeless. I don't understand what that means. You got a little deep on me there. How do you win a knife? We have. I haven't decided yet. I don't know what the. What should we do? Should we do another? You, they should guess how many curls you can do. Ooh. You probably can't do any. That's too heavy. Okay, you're an asshole. Number one. <laughs> how many curls can I do? But I feel like I mean only. All right. So if, I mean, what if several people pick the same yeah, number? Yeah, yeah, you know, work. that kind that of, work. as much as I know we all want to watch me work out <laughs> on the internet. <laughs> yeah, that, work. that You don't, do you do 20 pound curls? I'll do some 20 pound curls. Mm. I'll look at, so here you all guys day. get to kind of gawk at Colton's the... rock climber bod. Oh. Mm -hmm. I got to get it in my camera. So I can flip oh, look at you can see the little shadows. Oh. Okay. All right. Enough of that? All right. You guys good? All right. I think we're all good. <laughs> I think everyone is fine. Three? Brian Barnett. That is, you guys are a bunch of turkeys. Okay. Number one, I definitely could not do 30. That much I know. That much I know. This is one. Oh my God. Okay. So I don't lift any weight. So I don't know that I can really do this. Okay, so I do yoga, you guys. This is not, sorry, Facebook, you can't really see. Oh, I would never curl this much. 
I don't think that I could do more than, no. I mean, I probably could do 10. 14 and a half. <laughs> what if I go through some of the usernames? Oh, you guys, you guys will be excited about this too. Um, on YouTube, thank you YouTubers, our, we're, we have like 9,000 subscribers now. Which is really cool because we only had, how many subscribers? We had, what, 3,000? When I started, we had 2,300. We had 2,300 how many months ago? Uh, that was, I started six months ago. Six months ago. Okay. Look at all of that progress. Brian Barnett, I could have gone longer if I wanted to. Okay. <laughs> I am just choosing not to. You Should, said, what is the weight? 20 pounds. It was 20 pounds. That was a lot. Yeah, I wouldn't do that. I don't. Mm, I don't get some two and a half. So I would probably go for a five pound. I'm not going to lie. Okay. So, um, let's see. What else do we want to show knife wise? Um, we have, Oh, if you guys have not seen, um, the knife of the month, where is this? Isn't I don't have the actual. Okay. So we've got a knife of the month this week or this month. It's the topo topography type of knife. I'm sorry. There we go. So this is going to be the knife of the month. It is one ninety nine, and it's only for this month. After that, it's going to go up like fifty bucks. Fifty bucks. Might be more than that. Honestly. Might be even more. Okay, so check it out. This is the knife of the month. Um, and if you, if maybe that's not in your budget, did you know that there is one in today? In today. <laughs> in today. In today's live stream. In today's live stream. So if you go to ravencrusttactical.com slash shop slash live, you'll be able to purchase that one. Um, Erica, I can't check my DMs, girl. I have too many things that are open. What number is that? Um, what? The topo knife. Topo knife is number 11. And number 11. It's gone. It's, it's gone. gone. I'm very sorry. What else is gone? What do we have left? <laughs> What do we have left? Oh, my gosh. Okay, so if you're watching, I have a really, really cool little thing that you can do. I just um, I just did a demo with these police officers on Monday. It was super fun. I went down to the Maricopa County Sheriff's Department Training Center in the middle of ghetto-ass Phoenix – he said Durango Street. I said, excuse me? <laughs> Am I going to live? So anyways, I went down there and I showed them this really cool tension release. And you guys are going to do it with me because you are fucking stuck with me. Okay. So you're going to turn your head to the side. Colton, you have to do it too. Okay. Turn your head to the I side. Have to do it? Okay, you should be the one to do it. Okay. I'll do okay. It. All right. All right. What do I do? Okay. So you're going to turn your neck to the side and then you're going to like. Press right here at your collarbone. Do you feel this muscle? Uh huh. This is your sternocleidomastoid, and then you can like follow it up to the base of your skull. Watch, follow it up. Where am I going this way? Yeah. Can you feel like where it goes? Uh huh. Okay. So like when you have a lot of tension headaches, it can be caused by tension here. So what you do is you pinch that sucker. Where here? Um. So turn towards the camera now. Once you have it. Okay. And then you're just going to grab like a kind of like a big chunk of it. I got so a chunk. Kind of, I mean, oh. It's like a little baby chunk. All right. I'm yeah. Gonna... Oh. Mm -hmm. So you're going to just kind of like massage it a little bit. Hurts. And then, yeah. And then you massage all the way up. So like get a bigger chunk. There you go. But it's easier if you're turning forward. Yeah. So I massage this. Uh-huh. My jugular. Okay. It's not your jugular. You guys better be freaking doing this. You're going to thank me. Okay, now do the other side. I'm doing the other side. Okay, this helps with all kinds of tension. Okay, so when you're like, oh my god, I feel so much better, and people are like, how? And you're all, oh, it the does freaking feel good. Live stream today with the knife girl and Colton. She showed me how to take care of my bod. Done fucking wallies. What is up, buddy? This guy said Edwin Sarkeesian seems to be liking his knife. In his vids. Oh, yeah, that's right. So we – tell tell me the thing with this guy. I don't understand. So he hit us up one day, and he was like, I like your knives. Mm -hmm. Would you send me some? So we sent him some. Okay. 
and he likes it. But basically, but who's this that guy, guy? He's basically he's like the Science Channel for guns. So he does like all kinds of experiments with guns and stuff. Like um, Bill Nye. Yeah, like he like puts guns in concrete and then shoots them, or he shoots at like the last video that he used our knife in. They were shooting at his grandpa's Lambo, and then. His yeah. grandpa's Lambo? That's yeah. what kind of fucking they money have, this guy have, has? Where he's have, just like, I've got a Lambo to spare. Let's seven, just put holes in it. They have seven Lambos, and they're bulletproof. Seven and they're bulletproof. bulletproof? Is this guy Armenian? Armenian? I think he's Iranian. <gasps> I fucking called it! <laughs> oh! Anytime that someone is just like fucking locked up tight with shit like that, they're Middle Eastern. Oh! That's awesome. But yeah. So, so what's his name? Edwin Sarkeesian. Edwin Sarkeesian. Is that the guy that came in here? No, he's never been here, I don't think. Well, he's been to Mesa before in the past, but um, what guy came in here? There was a guy that came in, and he's just like, I have all this money, and he was just bragging about all the things. And, I don't know and he was going to like demo, he was gonna test and evaluate our knives. Oh, really? <sighs> I don't yeah. know who that is. So, yeah, so if you, are, if you also follow Edwin Sarkeesian, what? Edwin Sarkeesian. Sarkeesian. He's Sarkeesian. With, like a lot of other well known YouTubers like Demolition Ranch. What is Demolition Ranch? Mm, kind of similar. They just Can you pull it up? Experiments. Can I see? So I don't I don't participate in the man world. I don't know these things. Um right. Um so when it's as is, no. It okay, so when a knife says as is, it is still covered underneath our warranty. We're just saying we're not like, you're getting what you're getting. So if you get something that's all chipped and whatever, like, that's how it's coming. But, yeah. Wow, what timing. Um, Means it's been worn by someone and was worn to your place. Correct. Speaking of worn by somebody, um, knife number 18. I don't know if you saw our stories recently, as in, like, 10 minutes ago. <laughs> But if you want to own this knife, this is the one that I was carrying in that mini dress. You can. It's knife number 18. It is, I want to say it's only $205, $195. Can you check and see? Which number was it? 18? Number 18. This is the Enigma. 210. 210. So if you are a female and you're looking for a light everyday carry, check out the Enigma Karambit. This is one that you want to carry. One, it's intimidating as heck so if some fool comes up to you and you're like bro zero people are going to continue to move forward towards you and then it's really light it weighs like i don't know like five ounces or something like that so i in the picture have this hooked on to the bottom of my mini dress i kind of have it like tucked in right here okay it's really really lightweight can't feel it really light check it out okay show them the other ones where are they They're we've got there. oh oh that's freaking right we just released some of them don't work very well because they're prototypes <laughs> okay so here is colton's magic box <laughs> sounds like your lady bits <laughs> Okay, so if you haven't seen already, we have new Enigma colors. Are these the ones here? Yeah. So we have Tungsten, we have Coyote Tan. No, Kel that's FDE. FDE, Coyote Rep. That's <laughs> <laughs> FDE, Keltec, and OD Green. Okay, so if you have not seen these yet, look at how freaking pretty these are. If you're on a, if you're on a freaking SWAT team and you don't own... One of our OD green knives. Are you even living? Is that a SWAT color? OD green, is that a SWAT color? I thought they were black. That's like saying, do police officers wear cargo pants? <laughs> I thought SWAT wore black. You motherfuckers that are wearing cargo pants right now. I'm dying. You know you are. <laughs> <laughs> if you have more than five pockets... Please comment. <laughs> if you are storing things in pockets close to your knees, please comment. <laughs> Is the Reaver Blade D2? Yes. Yes. 
Yes. Oh, look at that. Airborne Patriot knows the link. Ravencrestactical.com slash shop slash live. Crunch wrap. It should say D2 on the blade. I think. I can't remember. Mm -hmm. What's the weirdest thing you've ever done for work? For work? What do you mean? Like a job? Or here? Yeah, for like a job. I worked at Playboy, so. Excuse me? Doing what? I was the one that was, I was blurring stuff out, you know? I was blurring out. Are you like, lying? No. I worked there. I knew people that worked there, so they got me a job <laughs> there. So they, so they got me a job there. But basically, so like when girls would send in videos to, it was it was on a show called Amateur Selfies. And so when girls Amateur would. Amateur Selfies? Yeah, so girls, so girls would send in their videos of them doing whatever. And then if there was something in the background, like a picture of a family or something, I would blur that out. <laughs> you know what I mean? For legal reasons. If there's a picture of a family. Yeah, because they were just and taking And you're just videos. doing porn next door. I mean, I guess that happens. Yeah, they were just taking videos. You can do in porn anywhere. That's true. That's very true. Okay, so you worked. At Playboy. Okay. All right. What are some, uh, what's a weird job? He was the fluffer. That's exactly what I thought. That's exactly what I thought. That's what I thought. That's awesome. Oh my God. When are you guys setting up an expert voice page? What is that? What the heck is that? Sounds like a fake job. I know, right? What's, what's that? Um, it was an order for big, what? Gypsy, what? <gasps> Gypsy, I can't say your name. We just talked about that earlier. Shh. Um, if we order for pick up at the shop, one of these, can we come in today and pick it up? Um, yeah, as long as it's before five o'clock. Sure. But you can't interrupt my live stream. So that's the only thing is you have to wait till after four. But yeah, for sure. I'm totally down. I'm totally down. Facebook, what's going on over there? You guys are a little quiet. <gasps> What just happened here? You guys are a little bit quiet. Um, so what kind of weird jobs have you guys had? I worked in um, at Fascinations. I don't know if that was like my weirdest job. What is that? It's a porn shop. Ooh. Like a sex store. Um, weirdest job. What constitutes as like a weird job? Like what you're doing is weird or like the industry because I feel like selling switchblades is weird. Like, when I tell people I do that, they're like, what? Yeah, this is pretty weird. I mean, I would say, like, a normal job would be, like, a gas station worker, an accountant. I was an accountant. That's how I got started with Ravencrest. You were their accountant? Mm-hmm. Nice. Expertvoice.com. What is that? Look it up. Let's look it up. Let's go there. Yeah. I'm not going to go yeah. to every website that you guys send us, though. <laughs> Why? The internet is totally safe. <laughs> Expertvoice.com. All opinions matter. Yours matters a lot more. What is that? Is this where you work or something? It seems like... Oh. So people want my advice? Oh, yeah. Microsoft. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, send me all of your, your questions. I will give you all of the advice. Like, for instance... Um, what can I do? I can, I'm handy. I'm not handy. I'm, <laughs> I don't know what information I would have. It's a place for industry discount on what? It seems I don't like understand. It's, it's, it seems like it's like an affiliate program like we have. So basically you're, you're doing like, they're sending you stuff and you try it out or like, Oh, you know what I mean? that's basically what that's what it seems. That's like. That's what we should do. I think that we should do reviews on here. Of knives. So nobody else has had like a weird job. Am I stoned? I'm not. Ellie, first responders. I've never heard of this. Like GovX. Oh. Let's go there. GovX is a discounted website for first or for government workers. Um, so like, if they went on there to get Ravencrest knives, it would just be discounted and. An individual person could purchase them, right? Is that what the deal is? Um, what other knives? We have, if you guys are not following along, if you have not already done so, make sure to enter to win our chubbiest knife ever. Okay, Chubbiest this is, giveaway ever. But this is our chubbiest knife. Oh, yeah. 
in our chubbiest giveaway ever. This is the Titan Bravo. This is our chubby blade. It is under two inches. It is our satin finish, Tonto non serrated. Super fun. I like it. It's very little. You're driving and listening. Oh, good. Okay. So you can enter to win if you head over to ravencresttactical.com. Paul just blew it up. Did you see that sticker I put on your on your door? I did. <laughs> I was wondering who put that up. There. So I went to I went to Tucson and I got this sticker from this brewery. Brewery. And it was the beer is called Black is Beautiful. <laughs> so I put it on our Cerakote Painter's door. <laughs> You're about the same color as me though, to be fair. To be fair. So, yeah. So, Paul blew it up yesterday. So, here's the problem with being a female and working in a male-dominated environment is I have to follow. Yesterday, I went into the bathroom. That was so funny. Yes, it was. I walked in and I was like, oh. It was because she got here after you came out. When she got here, she just, like, walked right towards it. And I was like, should I tell her? You dick. I walked in. There were still moisture particles from the air freshener that I ingested. <laughs> Even right now, I can smell the Lysol. The air was musty, huh? <laughs> like right now. If I can smell that, that means I'm taking in your poop. <laughs> right now. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I can like smell it right now. This is what I'm saying. So see, you guys are, you guys are missing. This is the real raw and unedited version of the shop. Mm -mm. No, no. Um, we have a couple of micro stingers. really motorcycle um we have a couple of stingers that are in today's live stream in the links um this link will be live until monday so you have all weekend to decide unless it's gone oh yay henry lloyd picked up two great job you're working on becoming an ambassador for mantis x never heard of them they came in here we actually are going to start selling their stuff what is it it's like a dry fire, so you can dry fire your gun, and it tells you how accurate you were or how much it tracks your movement. So it's basically for practicing, like, accuracy with your firearm. Oh. Yeah, so uh, Martine got one for his gun, won one for his gun. That's fun. I think we're going to start carrying that. That's it was pretty fun. sweet. It's like a video game. Um, I would recommend somebody pick up this guy. The Spartan OTF is one of our most popular. This one is an OD green. It is a Tonto non serrated. This one is a scratch and dent. There's some like minor, I mean like freaking minor scratches on it. All around. I would I would rate this one level, or I would say number eight. I would give this one an eight. Ten being perfect. Okay. Um, and then the price on this one is I will tell is you. Number 13. Mm -hmm. 120. Number 13 is 120. Okay. Let's see. Yep. It is still available, so you can get yourself one. If there is a knife that you guys want to see, please let me know. Um, oh, look it. There's a little networking happening in our comments. How fun is that? Can you hold up that next to number 16? No, I may. Yes. What? Oh, it's good. It's hidden. So biggest differences between these, um, I would say the body is much cleaner on this one. I don't see any um, scratches on the tungsten. I feel like I'm going to drop this. Uh, but the blade, as you can see, is well engraved. Okay. Those are kind of the options. Fucking nail polish looks so beautiful <laughs> on YouTube. If you guys haven't already subscribed to our channel, go do it. Head over to our YouTube channel. You can see us doing some torture tests. That's where we post video. Um, what is it called? Like product advertisements? Yeah. Promos? Promos. Promos. 
Yeah, product promos. You'll be able to see that stuff. Okay, let's give away the stinger. Let's do it. How do we do it? How should I do it? I'm going to go through and pick someone. What knife would you recommend for a newborn baby girl to keep the boys away? The stinger. <sighs> yeah, go with the stinger. Yeah, it's single edge. Babies know the difference. They know the difference between double edge and single edge. Baby's first knife. Yeah, this is a really great option. Um, babies are pretty dumb, so it's going to be really hard for them to open it. So that is a plus. Is it's automatically baby proof. Babies are dumb. And weak. And weak. <laughs> They are. They're both of those things, <laughs> like, in a very matter-of-fact way, but they're still so fucking cute. I live with a baby right now, and it's just so adorable. Just showed up. Dang it. Bam, bam, fireman. Head over to ravencresttactical.com slash shop slash live. Oh, look it. Look at what I ended up getting from Tucson. So nothing really great came out of that Tucson trip, but I did get this little pin. Look. Nice. Astrology. Um, Is that your sign? It's not astrology. It's just a little crystal. Oh. And then on the thing, like this is a moon phase. Isn't that a, an astrology thing? Crystals and moons and... No, crystals are about energy. Yeah. Duh. Isn't that an astrology thing though? Mm, I don't know. I don't know. I just really yeah. feel like oh. crystals are helpful in making people better. Like I would always, when I would go to conferences... <laughs> I would shove crystals in my bra <laughs> so that they would absorb. No, so that those would absorb all of the negative energy. And that I could still carry on thinking about glitter and unicorns. I worked around a lot of police officers and they would tell me scary stories about work. And so I had to carry my crystals. Um, God made babies cute so parents don't off them. That was very dark. Shacky six three three. I know I said the babies are dumb, but you took you made you need to go hang out with Cynthia on Facebook. I think who that has might be a true thing though? That sounds real. So, so that parents don't kill them. Yeah, I mean, it, you're, you want to like sometimes you want to shake your baby when you when you don't mm -hmm. get any sleep. I but if it wasn't cute, I started to, and then I just placed him down and walked away. I was like, oh this yeah, I could kill this guy. Chakra crystals. <gasps> Speaking of chakras, oh my God. Yesterday I did, I went to a yoga nidra session. If you don't know what yoga nidra is, it's like, um, it's like a guided meditation with someone, but this bitch had a gong. Mm. Is it like, is it like where they have like the, the noise make, like the little glass? So that's a, like yeah, that's a crystal bowl. But the gong is like exactly what you think it is. But they, she's making sounds on the gong the entire time. Down. Yeah. yeah so I've I'm like, that before. It looks really crazy. Oh my God. I felt so good when it was over. I didn't know what all it was about. But well, like, I was afraid all the people weren't, because I did it like last year before the pandemic. Mm -hmm. And so, like, they had a whole room packed full of people. What do they call it? It's like sound therapy. A sound bath. Something. Yeah, sound bath. That's yeah. what it was. So I was filming it. I was afraid all the people weren't going to wake up. Yeah. I thought it was a cult. You like go into like a whole trance. At one point I was like, oh my God, I can't believe I didn't wake up from my alarm. And I thought I was in my bed. And I was like, no, I'm in this person's living room. It was super weird. So it was a solo sesh? It's just you? Yeah, it was just the two of us. Buy Ravencrest Tactical Knives, not crystals. <laughs> crystals are sharp. Your girl keeps crystals all over the house. Dude, totally. Like I... I have so many of them. The necklace I was wearing last week, that was a crystal. I don't have any crystals on me right now. Oh, that makes me sad. None in you? I don't have any in me. Oh, you know what? I do have a yoni egg, though. We've talked about this. The one that goes in your lady. <laughs> don't talk about They make it. rose quartz crystals. Actually, they make all different types of, types of crystals that you can shove up there. It absorbs energy, Okay. Um, all right, so let's give this knife away. So we got the stinger. So we're going to do it on um, Instagram? We're going to do it. I don't know. Instagram. What'd you say? Thanks again for the help on the OVPD to Titan donations. Yeah, you're totally welcome, dude. Super cool um, email I got this week was from one of our uh, followers, Brian. He wanted to purchase a bunch of knives. So that he could like hand them out to police officers. Oh, that's cool. That's 
awesome. Yeah. I was like, yeah, here's our law enforcement discount, bro. Have at it. Super cool. Um, all right. So how should I, how should I base this? Should we do this guy then? Hmm. What, who should I pick? Uh, someone just said a bong. What's happening? Animals killing. What's happening in the comments? Animals kill and eat their babies. Oh, that was to the. So we may have something there. Um, we're not going to be bringing back the knife of the month club. That was really, really cool. Does my BF know you call him a baby? I don't call my, does he call a baby? Um, our baby hands strong enough to open it. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be the next torture test. Can a oh baby open God. a spinger? <laughs> that sounded so terrible. Okay. I don't know. Who should we pick? What should know. I base it off start, of? We need to start coming up with a good way of doing this. Um, first of all, don't yell at me. <laughs> um, I think that we should give this away to... Someone in California. Who's in California? Who's in California? Let me do a review of the knife. Who's that? Yeah, who are you? RIP Knife Club. I know. The Knife Club was really amazing when we had that. So that was... What was it? How much was it? $10 a month? Yep. $10 a month plus shipping, and you got a new knife every single month. Totes, my goats, pick me. North Carolina. Who's in California? These are legal in California. So you have to have under two inches with a single edge, and that's what these are. These are the Bowie style. You're from California, but you live in Mesa. Ew, Cali. I think the California is fantastic. Do you like California? I do. I like a lot of places. I wouldn't live in L.A. again, probably. Oh, you live there? Yeah, that's when I worked at Playboy. But I... Colton worked there for two weeks. <laughs> I <kidding>. worked there <laughs> for six weeks. <laughs> that shit was memorable. Bitch, I worked at DoorDash for six there weeks, okay? Rule. There's one rule at Playboy. No jerking while you're working. Was that a part of, like, the orientation? No. <laughs> oh, my God. Thousand Oaks. Um, yeah, every night, every month you got a new knife. Um, there were a lot. Of, yeah, it was for $10. Super freaking crazy. Um, it was 10 bucks. There were folders. There were fixed blades. That was a big advertising thing that we were doing for a little bit. So, no, we don't have that anymore. Um, we need knives up here. You really do. 23 <laughs> people in here, and they're all from Cali. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty funny. The address has to be in Cali. Uh, there's too many people. I feel like there's too many people that are moving to Arizona. Listen, if Arizona is on your like list of places to move to, can you do us a favor and just erase it? Because there's so, there's so many people here. I can't say anything. Ugh, Colton is the worst. <laughs> um, Henry, where have you been? Yeah, we did the Knife Club, I don't know how many years ago. And I think we did it for like three years. I think it ended last year. It ended last year or in 2019. Um, you know what? I'm going to give it to GWG760. He's going to win because he was at the location where I met my boyfriend. Ooh. And that sticks out to me. That's crazy. You guys might have walked by each other. Who? You and that guy. I sold him a knife. Of course I oh, walked by him. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. I I sold him a knife. I wish that there was a way for you to show me which one. Um, so many California, New York, Maryland, New Jersey. Yeah, everybody I just went to Texas because of Joe Rogan. Mm. Um, you just want to try our knives and you've heard about it. Well, listen, now is a really great time to own a knife. If you've been wanting to check out a Ravencrest Tactical, maybe you're a little bit on the broke ass side. Maybe you're a little frugal. Maybe you just want to collect them and sell them to your buds. Head over to ravencresttactical.com slash shop. <laughs> slash shop slash live. Um, and yeah. You kept asking a bunch of questions. 
I get asked so many questions when I'm in person. I'm here for it. We got them. A lot of people ask what my preference is for blade styles. I am a non-serrated kind of gal. Non-serrated. Ride or die. Um, a lot of people are like, yeah, well, like, you know, I need to, like, cut through, like, rope and shit. And I was like, okay, well, how often do you do that now? That's a great question, Erica. Hardly ever. Okay, then go with non-serrated because then the material isn't going to get caught on the teeth, like on the serration teeth. So, like, most people open up Amazon boxes and are opening up letters and, you know, ripping tape off, things like that. So I always say, like, get a knife for the type of activity that you perform with a knife typically. Um, not on, like, some made-up scenario in your mind. You're not going to somehow become tougher. Actually... That's probably not true. I think owning a Ravencrest tactical knife makes you tougher. I'm pretty um, sure it does. The thing with weapons is like, yeah, it makes you a little tougher as long as the other person doesn't get it from you. <gasps> Valid. Valid. I don't wonder what I would do if I was in a fight. I think that I would probably cry. No, I feel like I would fight back. But I... I think that I would just be, like, really thrown aback by it. I've been waiting for someone to get road rage with me because I've got a telescoping baton that I want to use. That's <laughs> really... Like, are you even prepared to take on that kind of trauma? Can you imagine hitting someone with that and, like, breaking a bone? I, wouldn't, I probably wouldn't... You, you probably wouldn't have to hit someone. That's the thing, is you pull it out and either they would have a gun and shoot me or they would probably be like, all right, I'm good. <laughs> That's risky. Um, I wanted to show this knife because this one, actually, this was the only one that did not sell last week. This is a Titan Alpha, which is my favorite full-size handle. Um, if you don't, if you've never fired one of these before, opened and closed it, you are missing out. It's a treat. These have two springs in the chamber. Um, some of our other knives, like the little sister, the Titan Bravo, only have one. So with the Titan Alpha, you get two springs in the chamber. You get a wider handle. You get extra texture on the spine of the knife. And then you also get a harder blade material. So this guy right here is up for grabs. I believe that this will be the last week that this one is available because look at that. This right here, texture. Look at that. Ooh, I can like barely slide my thumb up that. Okay. Can you look and see what number this one is? Nineteen. This is number 19, and it is available for $100. So good luck to whoever wants to get that one. Um, What else is in the sale? Oh, I have an OD Green Titan. I think that one's gone. Oh. Is it number yeah, two? Yeah, that one's gone. Just kidding. This one was on there. Uh, What about this one? The Blue Titan. Look at how pretty this color looks on YouTube right now. Like, dang. That's a really, really pretty blue. Oh, yeah. With that spear point. Right, this thing is freaking seven. sharp. This one is available still. This one is 75 bucks. Okay. This one is in really good condition. There is some minor scratches that are on it or just kind of like worn off. There you go. You can see it. It's a little scratch. Can you see number 20? Go. $69. 60, $69. 34 plus 35. I did not know. It took me forever. The Ariana Grande song, 34 plus 35. That's what she's talking about in the song. That's despicable. And I was like, oh, 34 plus 35. Okay, I get it now. I get it. Here you go. Okay, so one side of that is coyote tan. The other side is like a worn off black. There you go. Oh, this knife, but it's all tan. Oh, yay. Okay, so you have the Titan Bravo. You need to upgrade to the Titan Alpha. You will like it. You will like it. Plus, the Titan Alpha has the puncture tool for the glass breaker. You see how that one is like super pointy? You see it? Our other ones are... Not pointy. 
so you have some options. How do you buy the blue one? Um, go to ravencresttactical.com slash shop slash live and pick knife number, what number did I say it was? Seven. seven. It's knife number seven. Okay, all of these are warrantied, okay? Um, we will cover the internals and the blade, okay? So if you break something, that's covered. No worries. Any plans to upgrade the pocket clip? What do you mean? What do you mean? Upgrade what pocket clip? I don't know. You're going to have to explain that a little bit better. I'm not sure what you mean. Um, okay, so I gave that away. So make sure GWG760, send us a DM with your address um, and your ID, and we will ship that out to you. What else? Do we have any other announcements? We're wrapping it up, kiddos. Um, I don't think so. We don't have any more announcements. Oh, if you live in the Las Vegas area, actually, I guess you can live in California or Arizona, neighboring states of Nevada. Um, next week, Ravencrest Tactical is going to be out at the Police Canine Magazine Conference. We will be at the Tuscany Suites. So if you are interested in buying a knife, if you are law enforcement, that is open to you. Um, as long as you are um, a sworn officer, you can get into the vendor show, I believe. And that is where you will find your girl. Okay, come by and buy a knife. It'll be fun to hang out. Um, yeah, guys. Oh, next week I will be here. I will be, I will be getting back into town from that trip. So I'll be a little bit jet lagged, but I'm very excited. Um, what else? I think that's it. Make sure if you haven't already, um, entered to win in our chubbiest giveaway ever, you're going to want to do that. If you head over to ravencresttactical.com slash giveaway, you can enter to win and we're going to draw the winner on this was it March 19th mm -hmm. March 19th okay and then every Friday you can catch myself and the lovely Colton um, on YouTube Instagram and Facebook Eskimo hang photographer dude go back and watch me do curls <laughs> for all of you that have an ongoing bromance with Colton and you have or you have like a little relationship in the DMs um, he did some curls earlier That'll be a nice birthday gift. All right, you guys, take it easy. If you have any questions, make sure to contact us. Send us emails. Send us DMs. We'd love to hear from you. Until next week, don't do anything stupid, but if you do, 